Guys, I have good news. Canada is taking a major step towards inclusivity and equal opportunities. The province of Ontario is proposing to ban employers from requiring Canadian work experience from new immigrants and job seekers. I've seen people who are well qualified lose chances of being employed in Canada because of no Canadian work experience. Ontario has started this move and I believe this is a game-changing initiative which aims to make the job market in Canada more accessible and fair for everyone. I believe henceforth your skills and qualifications will speak louder to your favor and there would be equal opportunities for all job seekers regardless of their origin. My husband is going to be sharing all that you need to know about this move and also he will be reviewing two job websites where you can find all types of jobs either in Ontario or other provinces. One of these job websites has all kinds of jobs that anyone can apply for regardless of their age. They have jobs in accounting, jobs in administrative support and office work, jobs in advertising, agriculture, art, jobs in biopharmaceutical, jobs in cinema, television, radio, jobs in communication, jobs in computer, IT and multimedia, jobs in construction, jobs in documentation, education for teachers who are looking for opportunities in Canada. They also have jobs in engineering, fashion, finances and real estate, jobs in food service and industry, jobs in general career opportunities, jobs in health, jobs in hotel, jobs in human resources and industrial relations, jobs in insurance, jobs in leisure, jobs in manufacturing, jobs in public protection and law, jobs in sales and customer service, jobs in scientific technology and sciences, jobs in senior management and executives, jobs in social services, tourism, and jobs in transportation and machinery. There is no proof of funds or IELTS needed. And some of these jobs do not require a university degree. If this sounds interesting to you, give this video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and your loved ones. And if you're watching me for the first time, you are welcome. My name is Ami. I and my husband talk about relocation and studying abroad. Kindly subscribe to my channel for more informative videos and keep watching. Hello guys, you're welcome to Immigrate with Ami. We'll be sharing some, you know, very important updates today. And this has to do with Canada immigration. Specifically, we are focusing on the province of Ontario. All right. Now, the question is why Ontario? As you know, the province of Ontario is the political capital of Canada. But aside being the political capital, it's also the economic powerhouse of Canada. And we have actually seen that most people who want to immigrate to Canada are always looking for opportunities in Ontario. It's also a province that has lots of opportunities for international applicants. If you are, you know, considering moving to Canada, you might want to at the same time consider moving to Ontario as well. Of course, we are not trying to say that other provinces are not good enough. We are only focusing on Ontario in this video. So there is a latest update which has an impact on your chances of being able to move to Ontario either as an immigrant or as a foreign skilled worker okay and that is why we're actually making this video to share this hot gist with you guys okay basically the government of ontario they are looking or they are actually working on banning employers from requiring canadian work experience on application forms and in job postings now guys this is a very very big news and of course this has a direct impact on you 
If you are an international applicant, you want to move to the province of Ontario as a permanent resident or you are looking for job opportunities in Ontario. So the government is actively working on this initiative. And the thing is that this is actually the first of its kind move among all Canadian provinces and territories. It has never happened anywhere in Canada. Now, Ontario, and, and by Ontario, I mean the government of Ontario has announced its intention to introduce new legislation that would ban employers from requiring Canadian work experience in job postings or application forms. You know, previously, this actually has been affecting not only people outside Canada, but even internationally trained professionals who move to Canada often are unable to get, you know, a lot of jobs because they don't have Canadian work experience. Because of this restriction, this actually has like a negative effect on the economy of Canada as a whole. This particular move by the Ontario government, according to the Labour Minister David Piscini, will actually have advantage for newcomers to Canada. One of the reasons why they are implementing this initiative is that for far too long, too many people arriving in Canada have been funneled toward dead-end jobs they are overqualified for, meaning that people who have experience internationally, they are actually not able to find jobs in their area of expertise because they don't have Canadian work experience. Okay, so that is one of the things that this policy will actually address. So what are the changes that Ontario is hoping will come of this proposed legislative change? So what will be the benefit to Ontario? The benefit is that it will be easier for them to attract international skilled professionals. There are a lot of immigration programs you can explore, all right? And for the province of Ontario, they also have their own provincial nomination programs that you can also explore. One thing about the provincial nomination programs is that many of them actually require a job offer from an employer based in that province. And most of the time, one of the key barriers to getting a job in Canada as international applicant is the fact that you don't have Canadian work experience. So if Ontario is successfully able to remove this barrier, then a lot of international applicants who have been applying for jobs in Ontario will be able to get labor market impact assessment, LMI approved jobs, and then move to the province of Ontario to build a career and also to become a part of the force full stream economic development. The second benefit is that it will also support employers to attract the best of international talent so if this barrier is also removed then employers will feel at ease to hire people from outside Canada which in turn gives you more opportunities to be able to find jobs in Canada when we are talking about immigration to Canada Ontario is usually the province that has the highest number of immigrants and in fact in this current year 2023 all right Ontario actually welcomed the most number of immigrants of any province or territory in Canada for this 2023. And just to give you an idea, Ontario plans to continue to be the lead when it comes to accepting immigrants even in years to come. In 2023 alone, Ontario will actually nominate a total of 16,500 immigrants for permanent residence just through the provincial programs alone and of course the goal is for these people to contribute to the provincial labor market in various critical sectors such as healthcare and the skilled trades another great benefit is that this will help to reduce the labor shortage that ontario is facing now labor shortage is not something that is only being faced by Ontario, the whole of Canada and all of the provinces and territories are actually facing some form of labor shortage. Not having Canadian experience has always been a barrier and by Ontario removing this barrier, then they will be able to quickly fill up the labor shortages in Ontario. So guys, to continue the discussion, how does this particular news benefit you? It benefits you because you can now be more confident if you are looking for job opportunities in Ontario, okay? And before we end this video, I want to show you guys, you know, two platforms where you can begin to search for jobs in the province of Ontario. The first one is the Canada Job Bank, okay, where you can find jobs and actually filter by any location that you are interested in. For example, as you can see here on this job bank, I have filtered, for example, for jobs in Ontario, 
for truck drivers okay and you can also see you know, truck drivers is one of the occupations in canada that has been facing a lot of labor shortage so you can see a lot of opportunities you can even click on this show more result to see more opportunities for truck drivers in ontario because of this initiative it will be easy for you to actually find a job if you are looking for job opportunities in ontario of course they are not only offering jobs as truck driver i only use this as an example just to show you how you can filter for jobs by location and by occupation okay another great platform where you can find jobs in ontario is jobmaya.com this is another great platform on the job buyer platform you can search for jobs you can search by the job sector and you can also filter jobs by province as you can see here i have filtered for jobs in ontario and you can see it has given me a lot of opportunity so this is for administration services coordinator purchasing manager shipper receiver seasonal associate um, occupational therapist early morning stalker associate manager um, seasonal associate retail store manager seasonal associate assistant store manager machine operator in production early morning stalker pet hotel night pet care specialist registered nurse in critical care this is just one page out of multiple pages as you can see here so there are about 11 pages of job opportunities in ontario okay so you can you know start with these two platforms and also check out other job platforms in canada where you can begin to find jobs in ontario and you can start applying for those jobs okay so guys this is a wonderful news that is coming from the government of ontario and i hope that this will be a great motivation for you to continue in your journey towards becoming a canadian permanent resident don't forget that immigrate with army offers one-on-one -on -one consultation guide and you can actually book you know one of those sessions through the links in the video description and of course will help you to review your profile and identify which opportunities are best suitable for you based on your profile okay so guys as usual it's always a pleasure speaking with you thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day